Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I'm back with a new layout for Hip Kit Club. And this is my first layout using the 2021 January kits. And they are so pretty. Uh, I'm gonna start with these rolled flowers. And we get a whole pack of these. And there's a couple of different shapes and sizes. And there's also some leaves. And they're all plain white uh, paper like this. And so they're perfect for painting and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and coat them with a little bit of clear gesso because I want to blend a couple of colors together and I want to make sure that I can do that without the colors just drying immediately as soon as they hit the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and treat these with the gesso and then I'm going to start with the purple shimmers that we get in the color kit and it's an inklings called Precious Posy and when you get these they are kind of like a hardened cake of paint and you have to soften it up with some water so I squirted some water in there and then let it sit for a little bit and then stirred it up and it was nice and thick and I'm just making a mess here these are so easy to paint I'm not trying to get these perfect I'm just adding some color and then I'm gonna go from there because what I'm gonna wind up doing is rolling these tighter to make a really dimensional flower so they're gonna look different once they're painted uh, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the pink color that we got in last month's kit that's the naughty or nice inklings it's also from shimmers and I'm gonna just add in a little bit of that mix it together come back in with the purple my water is off camera there you can't really see it but I am dipping my brush into the water a little bit too to help the color kind of blend around a little bit these were actually really easy and fast to paint because I wasn't aiming for perfection. I just was trying to get a little bit of dark area, a little bit of light area. Um, you know, this was kind of an experiment. I know there are tons of cut files out there that are the rolled flowers. And I think I may have used those once or twice in my life, but I just, I don't know, for some reason, they, I always feel like I don't know how to roll them the correct way, so I've kind of shied away from those, but I just decided to give it a go on these, and um, they're going to look different once you roll them into the flower. They would also look cool like this, just as is, as a design element on the background. That would be another option. You don't have to roll these. Uh, the blue color that I'm adding in there, we also get from the color kit this month. It's a Vibes called Snow Way Man. And it's also a shimmers and I thought it would be pretty just to dab in a little bit of that so I'm gonna let those dry and then I'm gonna play with the background here now like my layout last week this whole idea is gonna change because I can't make up my mind these days who knows what's going on but this is the photo that I decided to start with now watch me try to roll this flower yeah I was like do I start on the outside do I start on the inside I really don't know. I'm probably doing this all wrong, but this is how I wound up doing it. And it's not very tight. I didn't want these to be super tightly rolled, so I just kind of roll them nice and loose just to kind of play around with it first and see how they look. And we're going to go with that. They're not even glued, so yeah. <laughs> They're just kind of loosely wound around there. I'm going to try to glue it. Um, yeah, we'll see how this works. But I, uh, I went through all of the things in the kits. There's a ton of chipboard, die cuts, stickers, puffy stickers, clear stickers, you name it. And I thought that that pool photo would, would match really pretty with all of these colors, especially with the purple. So that's what I was going to try to use first. Um, I'm using some textured white cardstock as my background, and that's in the cardstock kit. I am going to do some mixed media on the background, so I'm going to go ahead and coat it with clear gesso. And then try to build the design first because I, I didn't know what was going to go where. And that's going to determine what I add to the background. So I, I was feeling rainbows. So I thought, let me just layer a bunch of rainbows around and see how this looks. I just, for the life of me, could not... You see how confusing this is? Yeah, this was this was confusing because I was like, this doesn't this isn't working. This isn't working. Why is this not working? I kept trying. I kept trying. I finally just got fed up and took a break. And yeah, I like it, but it just, I don't know. I wasn't loving it. Took a break, came back. I changed pictures. Changed pictures. Yep, we're, we're just going with a different vibe. 
So I went with the black and white picture. I don't know. I think it was the the color and the photo. For some reason, the the blue of the water was a different blue than in the rainbows, and it was bugging me. Like it was just a totally different blue, and it, it didn't match as well as I thought it was going to. So I went with this black and white photo, and I'm going to put that photo kind of on the left side of the page, and then layer in the rainbows and the flowers and things like that, and see how that works. And I wanted to do some purple first around the edge of the photo. So I traced it very lightly with the pencil. And then I'm going to go around the edges with this purple Precious Posy Inklings. And it is so shimmery. Once I have the background done, I'm going to hold it up in the light and you can see how shimmery it is. But I am adding some water to this using a brush just to kind of help it run and blend. And the gesso is also very helpful in that. It helps the color to move around without just drying and soaking right through the paper as soon as it hits it. Um, when I add the water, tilt the paper around, you just get that really pretty watercolor effect, you know? Um, and it's going to be basically just around the edges of the perimeter of the photo. For, for now, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So above the photo, I'm going to kind of make a sky. So I'm going to blend the Snowway Man vibes with an older Lindy's Gang spray that we got a long time ago called Mad Hatter Mint. And I want to create that sort of aqua blue color. Now let me show you something here. You see at the very top of the cardstock where it looks a lot darker? That is where I did not get gesso on the paper. Do you see the difference? When I have gesso, the, it, the paint doesn't do that. It spreads and blends and kind of runs on top of the paper. But the very top there is where my brush did not get the gesso. And it winds up drying okay. But I just wanted to show you kind of the different effects of gesso versus no gesso. But I'm, I'm trying to get kind of that light aqua minty color. So that's why I blended the, uh, the green spray with the blue shimmers and I love how that looks. Uh, I think it's going to look kind of like a sky because I'm going to be using a lot of rainbows between the chipboard and the puffy stickers and the die cuts. I think there's a rainbow in, in every package or almost every package and um, I don't know when I think of rainbows I think of clouds I think of the sky and so I thought well that would be a pretty color to add to the top of everything because the way I want to arrange everything is kind of to the left and to the right of the photo kind of like in a horizontal cluster. So this is what I've got so far. I'm going to tilt it so you can see the shimmer. You see there how pretty that is? I love that. That's the inklings. Um, so I'm going to kind of build everything and see what I've got. I've got everything pulled out. It's kind of off camera there but I'm going to blend some of the um, the stickers with these rolled flowers. And I did wind up making a third flower. Uh, it was the same technique that I did with the other two. And so they're all three different sizes. And I love how they turned out. I think they look really pretty and they're very dimensional. And I also pulled a lot of the flower die cuts. There's a whole pack of floral die cuts, which are so pretty. Um, I wanted to go a little bit darker with the purple since it had dried. It was really pretty and light, but I want it to be just a smidgen darker. So I'm going to very carefully just come back in with the shimmers precious posy and my brush my water and just kind of lightly add in a little bit more to darken it up and the more layers you add of the shimmers or the lindies whichever whatever we get usually the more layers you add of course the darker it's going to get and then the more water you add to it the lighter it's going to get because you're diluting it essentially and so i love that you can get a lot of different shades of one color just by how you either add water to it or how many layers you add so and then it's also fun to mix and match it with other colors so this is what I got so far I really like it uh, I don't want to move anything because I love how it looks right now and if I move it I'll never get it back so I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna add a little bit of tissue paper behind my photo to have a little bit of a layer uh, I'm not gonna add any pattern paper I actually don't use any pattern paper on this page I just realized that it's just um, ephemera and the, the color kit so that's where the photo is going to go 
I'm just going to wind up trying to tuck all the little teeny pieces in. That's what my title is going to be, You Are Magical. That's from one of the ephemera die cut packs. I thought it was perfect. It has all the colors that are scattered around the page. And it was nice and small, but just big enough to fit right there where I wanted it to go. And I love that. We get a lot of alphas. I think we get two sets of alphas. There's a white set, a purple set, and then a smaller set with purple and blue. So they're a nice, nice variety of alphas, but I don't wind up using any of those on this page. I'm adding in some thread. I'm adding in some of that orangey color kind of underneath the flower that's right by the photo. And then over here to the left, a darker purple color. And I love how that is looking. Um, I'm going to add some blue up top, kind of in the right corner behind where the curve of that rainbow is. And it's also going to kind of blend up into the sky area. But it's still a little bit darker than the sky area, so it's still visible. Adds a nice pop of color and some texture. All right, so this is what I've got so far. I decide I want to add just a smidgen more purple. I think I've already said the word smidgen. Smidgen. Is that a real word? I don't even know, but I say it a lot. <laughs> a smidgen more purple, um, just to make it a little bit darker underneath where the title is going to go. And I want to do this with, again, without moving everything. So, um, yeah, very carefully doing that with the brush. I remember back in the day when I was afraid to use purple on a layout for whatever reason. It was just one of those hard colors to scrap with, but now I love it. Uh, so I was very pleasantly surprised and pleased to see it in the, uh, the January kits. So, so pretty. All right, so we're going to start to glue things down. I'm going to pop a lot of these flowers up with some adhesive foam and kind of curl the edges of the petals up. That just instantly creates more dimension, and the foam is awesome for doing that. Um, it just adds a little bit of a shadowing effect and makes things not so flat. And this layout is particularly dimensional because of those rolled flowers. And I didn't think that I was going to like those. I'm going to be honest. When I first saw those, I thought, oh my gosh. How am I going to use these? They kind of intimidated me. And I don't even know why, because they were so easy to, to color and they were so easy to, to roll up. Why do I make a big deal out of things like that? If something intimidates you, just give it a try, because chances are you, you'll probably wind up liking it. There's also a whole set of fringe strips that are gorgeous. They're all watercolored already. And I, yep, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I'm going to try something because they're so pretty. And, you know, you don't even have to add anything to them because they are already beautifully colored. But I'm gluing everything down at this point because I love how this is looking. All right, so everything is situated. I'm coming back with the purple again. I thought I was done. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add splatters. Yep, I'm just going to water down the inklings a little bit so it's a little bit thinner and easier to splatter. And to get the bigger splatters, I don't know if you saw what I was doing there, but I just held the paintbrush up a little higher and then ran my fingers down from the top to the bottom of the bristles and just kind of squeezed. And so it squeezed all the color off the brush and made a nice big plop. I love doing that. All right, so I'm trying to think if I want to add any more embellishments. So I'm going to go through some of the chipboard pieces and I like to peel off the sticky parts right away because I'm nowhere near ready to stick it down. So I want to be able to move it around first. So I just peel off the sticky part and then that way it's kind of like a, a chipboard die cut. So I can try it out here, try it out there without it sticking. And I pulled off a couple of, um, or peel, bleh, picked out like four different things. I only wind up using a couple. Um, I use that little tab that says today up above the photo. Um, I don't wind up using that little so cute piece. Oh, these are the puffy stickers. Some of the puffy stickers are all little speech bubbles. I'm going to use that one there that says this makes me happy. And I just thought it looked good right there. I like that it's a circle. It's kind of the same shape of the rolled flowers. That little chipboard piece says love you. I'm going to use that. I try a couple of things down here at the bottom, but everything was just too big or too bold. So I'm going to use this little tiny piece. It says party on 
which, you know, we were just having a little cuddle tickle session on the couch or in the chair. So yeah, anytime that happens, it's a party. So party on it is. Um, so back to the sky part up at the top. When I have a sky like this, I love to add clouds. I've done this on many, many layouts. And I just like to take some scrap card stock and hand cut out some little wonky crooked clouds. And I'm going to add those up to the top. I just think clouds are such a fun and easy and cute thing to add to a sky. I've done this... I think I've done this on so many of my layouts. I feel like, uh, yeah, I, but it just makes sense to me. I just always like the result of it and it always looks cute. And you kind of just know that, oh, that's the sky, you know? I don't know. If I like something, I just stick with it and do it over and over again and it's okay. Uh, I am gonna ruffle up the edges a little bit with the edge distressor there to give them a little bit of texture. And then I wanna add a little bit of shading to these. Uh, so I pulled out a shimmery, it's metallic, silver gelato and I'm just going to kind of color up around the edges and then dip my finger into a little bit of water to help smudge it around and you can see how that looks there it just gives the cloud a little bit more of a realistic look and it looks like it's you know got some shadowing on it which most clouds do so love how that looks and then I'm going to pop these up with some adhesive foam because I love popping things up you know and it's going to create even more shadowing so Got to do that. I'm going to glue those down and see how that looks. I like it. I think I'm going to stay with it. Um, I am going to add a little bit of white gesso over this striped heart chipboard piece just to soften it up a little bit because the colors were really bold and I felt like everything else on the layout was a little bit softer. So I'm just going to smudge a little bit of the gesso on there and it just lightens it up a little bit and makes it look a little hazy so it's not as bright and bold but I, th I think it it blends in with everything else a little bit better that way and then I'm going to glue down all of those chipboard pieces that I peeled off the sticky parts earlier because I know that that's where they are going to go and then oh yeah I decided that I wanted to add some splatters up in the sky so I'm going to go back and blend the two colors that I used to make the sky, which was the Snow Wayman Vibes and the Mad Hatter Mint Lindy's. So I just pour a little bit of each one onto some plastic and then do the same thing that I did with the purple down below. Just use the brush to add some splatters around. And it looks a lot darker, of course, when it's wet, but when it dries and I dab some of it up, they're going to be more subtle splatters like that. You can kind of see them, but they're on the subtle side, which I love. And everything's still shimmery, which I also love. And look how dimensional this is. There you can really see a good look at those flowers. I love that. And yeah, when this goes into an album, they are going to get smushed down. That's just how things go. But right now I'm enjoying how it's looking really popping off the page. All right, we're almost getting done here. Uh, I'm going to add in a few of these chipboard phrase stickers. I love the phrases. They're so unique and so real life and awesome. The colors are beautiful. And I spent some time trying to figure out how I wanted to arrange these because I'm using three. I'm using an orange one, one of the red ones, and then the minty color one. And I couldn't figure out how to layer them down there. Do I want them straight? Do I want them off center? I wasn't sure because my journaling also needs to go down there. But then I pulled out this um, package of clear stickers and they're all different stitches, like sewing machine stitches. And so when you add these to your page, it's going to look like you stitched on your layout. I love that. And I wanted to incorporate a little bit of this. So I just pick one and then use just a smidgen of it to um add. I wind up changing that actually I took way too long to decide how to do that but you'll see here in a minute how I finally decide to do it um, but I wind up using a purple scalloped one and then I got those glued down and then I'm going to add my journaling right underneath that and that is it I'm using a fine tip sharpie in black to add the journaling and then I add the date and that's it that's the final layout I love how shiny and shimmery the the uh, rolled flowers are they're so, so pretty. They wind up being my most favorite thing on this layout. And here I was afraid to use these. And they may not be rolled perfectly. They probably aren't. But you know what? That's okay because I like how they look like this. You know, no right or wrong way to do it. I'll get, there probably is a right way to do it. I probably did it wrong. But 
oh well, it's done now. So hopefully uh, this will inspire you to do something with your January kits. Maybe it gave you some ideas to try. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. This was a lot of fun to make. I really do like how it turned out. Um, all kinds of close-ups here. You can see all the dimension. And I love the texture from the cardstock too. That's a lot of fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.